Hello everyone, and welcome back. <laughs> oh my gosh, I haven't seen a game be requested quite as much as this one. Hope you're all doing well, by the way. Um, before we get started, I have a little something to confess. I originally wasn't planning on streaming this game at this time. Originally, the, pl the plan was to stream this shortly after Mr.'s karaoke stream, uh, but I noticed literally yesterday that I messed up the times on the graphics of my schedule, and I was like, ah, crap, what do I do now? <laughs> so, rather than issue yet another revision because I forgot about daylight savings, I just kind of said, okay, guess we're playing it during the evening then. So yeah, that <laughs> that's why we're streaming this a little bit later than usual. But hopefully uh, that isn't too much of an issue and uh, you guys are not staying up late to the point where you're getting into trouble the morning after. But yeah, as I said earlier, I've never seen a game quite as requested as Omori has been from the beginning. When I talked about my fondness for games with really immersing stories and also very stories like stories that make you feel kind of like crap also known as utsuge omori was always one of the ones that was really really recommended even vox just highly highly recommended omori to me and considering that i grew up on a lot of um, rpg maker horror games such as eve the witch's house uh, mad father misao etc etc uh, I am really excited to venture back into this world and with a relatively fresh look at things because this is a recent game. The fact that a game as recent as this is using the RPG Maker engine, it's making me kind of nostalgic for something that I haven't yet experienced. Like when I first launched this game, it appeared in a super tiny little box on my screen and I just thought to myself, oh yeah, this this brings me back. <laughs> this this is how these games are meant to be experienced. But uh, without further ado, I think that we should be moving right along. I should mention, um, if, uh, please read the pinned comment. Uh, there, I request that there will be no spoilers, no backseating. Even if like I'm ha struggling a little bit and uh, being a bit of a dum dum, please just have faith in me, and I'll figure my stuff out eventually. Also, uh, when I launched this game, there was a content warning for several things. Um, I, was, I wasn't able to prepare anything to put on screen or like in a pinned comment or anything. But uh, please, if you are sensitive to dark subject matters or are a little bit worried about what this game might entail, uh, I recommend that you Google Omori content warnings. Because uh, if the game is making it a point to tell you that the moment you launch it, then I believe that they should be listened to. So if you're a little bit uncertain, if you're going to be able to handle whatever this game has in store for us, then please uh, ask Gugudu Sensei for a, a quick little bit. And uh, hopefully uh, it'll be kind enough to enlighten you. Okay, without further ado, how about we get right into this? Uh, I don't know how long I'll be, I'll be streaming for, uh, because my voice is a little bit on the crappy side today. I, I tried warming it up as much as I could before stream, but uh, if it starts hurting a little bit after uh, reading the dialogue, we might um, end it, it a little bit, like after a couple of hours. And uh, there's also the VR chat collab that's happening after this, and I really want to be part of that as well. So, enough stalling. Let's begin Omori. Don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Oh. No matter what happens. Promise me that we'll always be there for each other. Promise me. Ah, uh, I'm probably not 
going to find out what that's about until way later, am I? Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. What is going on? Oh. Aw, this is so cute! Ah, uh, this is bringing me back. Uh, a tissue box for wiping your sorrows away. Bruh. <laughs> I think we all need one of those these days. Your sketchbook. Take a look inside? Sure. Oh, okay. A little bit of morbid art style. Oh, God, I'm such a nerd. The moment you see that cross over there, to the left, that's from the Celestial Alphabet. That's frequently used in Yoko Taro's work, and it made me really excited for a second. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so this... We drew this, I guess? Maybe it's vent art? Who knows? I wonder if all of these have, like, really, like, profound meanings that I'm just not understanding because I have literally just started the game. Is that just a straight-up steak? Is that just steak? Oh, that's it. Well. Waiting for something to happen? You booted up your laptop. What would you like to do? Uh, open your journal. Omori's journal. Okay, so the, no, Omori is like the name of this kid. Today I spent time in white space. Everything was okay. Today I spent... Oh, it's just the same thing over and over again. No, wait. Today I visited my friends. Everything was okay. Uh, today I visited my friends. Everything was okay. Okay, it's pretty much the same thing all over and over again. Yeah. You stared at the screen. Oh, okay. The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. Really? Something fell nearby. I usually hate when the laptop gets too warm and like... On my lap and whatnot. Um, but like a while ago, I used to have like this little uh, board thing that I put my laptop on, so it wouldn't be directly on my lap. Because if it got too hot, then I got annoyed. I guess because I'm warm-blooded, any sort of like additional heat that I'm not voluntarily partaking in is kind of a bother. A light bulb hangs from the ceiling. Whatever, wherever it is, look into the light bulb. It's bad for your eyes, but okay. Oh my god, thank you very much for the Akaspa. That's so kind of you. It's pitch black inside. You can't see a thing. Can I, like... A white door casts a faint shadow. What would you like to do? Not giving me much of an option here. You stared at the door. Let's see where the ceiling is. What the heck are you... Okay, note to self, avoid those. Hello? You got a shiny knife. Mmm. 
Oh, it just loops around. Okay, do I go over here, maybe? Nope, okay. Is the door open now with a knife? Oh. Why would I use a knife as a key? Oh my god, this is adorable. I'm loving the color palette. Uh, Aubrey. Okay. I uh, probably won't do it like as many different voices uh, as I usually do. So I hope that's okay. Hi, Omori. Or uh, I guess we'll like Americanize everything since they, this seems to be taking place like in, a, in the West. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. Oh, whoops. Never mind. Kel. Oh man, what the heck, Aubrey? You messed up all the cards. I was winning too. Hero? Hero, I guess, I, I guess we're going with the hero. Hey there, Cal. There's no reason to get angry. It's just a game after all. Don't give me that, hero. You only say that because you were losing. <laughs> Aww. Let's see, what's this? A tentacle is poking out of the ground. You got a stuffed toy from a watermelon. Okay, cool. <laughs> Banes! <laughs> a single bean on a plate. A photo of someone familiar. Would you like something? Heck yeah! You made toast? You don't even get to take it? A fluffy pillow shaped like the head of a girl. Whoops. A neatly wrapped present. A blender. Will it blend? That's the question. God, I just realized how hard I just dated myself. A baseball bat. A blah blah. A baseball and a baseball bat. You just eeg on the ground. A cat shaped hole. And there's flowers. Is there a TV? There's a movie on TV. Four boys are walking on railroad tracks. Oh, I said stand by me. Why is Kel always so mean to me? You know, the other day, the good-for-nothing stole my stuffed toy and hid it somewhere in this room. Oh, we found that. How would you do something like that? He's so immature. I mean, what did I ever do to him? Oh, I know. Can you find my stuffed toy for me, Omori? Pretty please? Yeah, uh, I think I already did. I is that? Could it be? Aubrey snatched the stuffed toy from you. Hey, Cal. Look, it's my stuffed toy. What the heck? Where'd you get that? Omori found it. Lucky for me, I've got some real friends. Serves you right, Cal. You should know better than to pick on others. Omori started it. She was the one making fun of me for the mole on my... On your... What? Mm. Aubrey. 
fine. Oh, okay. Thank you, Omori. I knew I could count on you. You're the best. Hey, Omori. <laughs> Glad that's all settled. Those two always seem to be bumping heads. Mary? Mari? I guess we'll go with M Mari and Basil, as in like the, 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 sp like the plant. Mari and Basil invited us for a picnic at the playground. <laughs> Did you want to go see them? Sure. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> Let's go see Mari and Basil. <gasps> it's a train. You want to play cards with your friends? Sure, let's play cards. Oh, is it just a cutscene? Oh, this is cute. I like how their facial expressions are changing. Oh, this is so cute. I just looked at Chen and somebody was just like, are they playing Uno? <laughs> it doesn't look like Uno. You don't build three stacks with Uno. They are getting taller though. I wonder what happens when they max out. I think they might be playing Old Maid. I can't believe I'm blind. I just noticed that we're the only ones in black and white. I wonder what's the reason for that. Is it gonna tip over? Will it just keep getting taller? I know that this is not exactly riveting gameplay, but I'm genuinely morbidly curious to see what happens when this maxes out. I just noticed that there's a cat meowing in the soundtrack. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that's enough of that. Uh, oh, Mori. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero. I guess this is our party for this game. Mm. Shiny knife as a weapon. Uh, I'm not sure if I like that. Uh, what do you have? A stuffed toy. It makes a weird noise when you punch it. Rubber ball. Playground tested. Child approved. I love it. Hector. Can talk, but he's very shy. He's a good friend. Is he, is he a potato? Spatula. Good for flipping burgers. Going out, Amari? Got 50 clams. Ching. I just noticed that that cat reminded me of um, the thing from Azumanga Daio that uh, Sunny likes very much. Good morning, Evrinyan. That one. Is that was I the only one that noticed that? Ah, oh, yeah, fresh air at last. Gotta love that nature. Well. Let's go. Hey, wait a sec. Help me, guys. I'm stuck. Only if you say please. Can't... Stop messing around and get me out of here. Okay, okay, fine. Hmm. <laughs> Took you long enough. <laughs> well, sorry, princess. 
Well, excuse me, princess. The soundtrack is really, really calming. I guess this is the playground. Man, the pixel art is so charming. Oh, okay. It's the first person I see without blue hair. Mari, Basil! Hello, everyone. How are you all doing today? Kale's being mean to me again. Oh, no. Not again. How could he? Psh, I'm not being mean. Aubrey's just being all whiny. Well, Kel, You've just made a very convincing point. Now I don't know who to believe. Believe me! No, believe me! <sighs> Settle down, you two. Why does it always have to be like this? Shin up, hero. Look at you being all responsible. I really like that about you. <laughs> oh, he's sweating. <laughs> Come on, Mari. Not now. Ooh. Oh, Hero, you know I'm just teasing. You're so cute when you get all flustered. Mm. While we were waiting for you guys, Beast and I were going through his photo album. Did you want to join us? Of course. After all, we're the ones in the pictures, aren't we? Basil, Basil, get a load of this! Come on, Basil, take a picture of me! Oh. What kind of voice do I give Basil? Um, sorry, Cal. I only take pictures of people when they're least expected. <laughs> you like to take photos of people acting naturally when they're not in front of a camera, right, Basil? Yeah. There's something special about everyone living their own lives. Those are the moments I want to capture. So, like... We just have to pretend you're not there? <laughs> yeah. I guess you can put it that way. Sure, I can do that. Did you want to show us your photo album now, Basil? Uh, okay. But it's nothing amazing. Oh, Basil, stop doubting yourself. I'm sure they'll be great. You're right, Aubrey. Sorry. I'll try to believe in myself more. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute! I kind of know what he means, though. Here. This way we can all see. Do we actually get to see? We do! Aww. Aww, that's so sweet. These illustrations are so pretty. Milk. Based. Oh my god, he's even black and white in the photos. Hmm. <laughs> this reminds me of myself and somebody else. Oh, it's the whole gang! Oh, this is so cute. Selfie! 
Oh, wow. Is he the only one wearing, like, shoes or socks? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, I, I, I didn't see the read thing. All of our feet in a circle. Can you guess whose feet are whose? Well, one of them is sticking out somewhat. Okay, let's go back to the beginning and read all of them. Mari is teaching everyone how to make flower crowns. Amori and Kel are holding Mari's example. So pretty. Oh, flower crowns. Reminds me of uh, Midsummer, Midsummer Eve. We make flower crowns around that time. Oh, look at all. Look at all of them. Amori and Kel gave up and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang of it really fast. Hero is still making his flower crown. It's taking him a little while, but he's getting it. You have to admire his persistence. Everyone is eating watermelons. So juicy. Aubrey has some seeds on her face. Maybe someone should tell her. Kill is drinking a bottle of milk. His favorite. Nice. I shouldn't get too close or I might get my camera wet. I like making flower crowns when I was younger. Mari had Hiro take a picture of us. Everyone thinks a flower crown really suits me. I agree. Hiro leaning in for a smooch. Kel looks so annoyed. Ah, uh, brotherly love. Oh, they're brothers. Okay. We're having a picnic today. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. Cheese, everyone. <laughs> After eating, everyone fell asleep except Hiro and Mari. I just noticed that they're holding hands. Mmm, <laughs> that's so cute. I'm getting kind of sleepy myself. Kel said he took a picture of himself on accident, but I don't believe him. Oh, that's all of them. These photos are all so charming, Basil. You really know how to capture the moment. Thanks. I didn't take all of them, though. Mari likes to see my camera sometimes. Only sometimes. Hey, I have an idea. Did you all want to come and hang out in my house? I just finished planting some little sprouts and wanted to show everyone. Come on, they're really cute. Yeah, sure, sounds like fun. Let's go! It's south of the playground, right? Yeah, that's the way. Hmm. I think I'll sit this one out. You all go on and enjoy yourselves. But if you're ever feeling wary, you can always stop by one of my picnics. I'll always have some refreshments ready. And you can even save using my picnic basket. Aw, thanks, Bari. You're always doing so much for us. Bye, Mari. We'll see you again soon. Run along now. Have fun. You know where to find me. I'm, I'm loving the character so far. This is so cute. But I am terribly afraid of when things are going to go south because I just it just feels like something's going to go 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 really bad at some point. Ah yes, some nutritious candy. <laughs> nutritious wouldn't be the word I would use, but would you like to eat some? Sure. You and your friends feel like new. Oh, so it's like a heal. Nice. Let's save. Mari's picnic basket. Would you like to save? Sure. Nice. Mm, who are you? Mikal? Mi Mikal? <laughs> I'm gonna swing to the moon! Pain.
no boss zone. Violators will be prosecuted. Okay. Nose looks occupied. Okay. Nose is my best friend. She can't say much, but she's really smart. Can, can I... I guess not. Okay. Bangs. Having fun takes too much effort, so watching my friends have fun is enough for me. <laughs> hop, and a hop, and a hop, and a hop. It's like me when I played Celeste and Jump King. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello, friends. Hello. Why are there so many eggs and bananas and stuff in everywhere? Banana. <laughs> Eternal banana. Locks. Oh, they're lying down. I was wondering what kind of creatures these were, but then I realized they were laying on their backs. Tonight's a perfect night for stargazing. The grass sure feels nice here. Want to join us, Amori? Sure. The stars shine brightly overhead. Okay, we have a bed, we have Saturn, we have a book. We have an eye, we have a satellite, we have a planet, I assume that's Earth. A table with a plant, a table that's just floating, a diamond, a spatula, a plant. It's a couple of more planets. There's a lot of variety in this. You don't have a care in the world. Omori learn to observe. Okay, neat. What is this? A mailbox? A suspicious blue mailbox. What does it say, welcome? Does somebody live in it? A bunch of small toy cars. A very difficult puzzle. All of the pieces are blank. It's a puzzle consisting of Akka Chads. I like puzzles. Good for you, my dude. Oh, is Shoto here? Hi, Shoto! Hey, Amori, guess what? I got some plans today. Big plans! Just stay put for a while. You'll see what I mean soon enough. Okay. What did that do? Hey, Amori, guess what? Oh, okay. Burly talks so fast when she gets excited. It gets really hard to keep up. Hmm. Just keep at it, my dude. Okay, um... Oh! Hey, wait a just one second! Where do y'all think you're going? You can't leave without joining us for a game of hide-and-seek! Stay and play with us. The more the merrier. You... Wanna play hide and seek again? But you know how this turned out last time. Y yeah. Sorry, Burly. I think we're gonna have to pass. We're going to Basil's house now. So uh we'll catch up with you later. Not so fast. You guys trying to avoid me again? What's up with you two? Is it my face? My rough and tough exterior? At least I'm not as bad as Boss. It's a good thing I banned him from the playground after what happened last time. I wonder what that moron is up to now. Eh, good riddance. So, um... You wanna play hide-and-seek, Basil? 
I can go either way. There's no rush to get to my house after all. I think I'll leave it up to Amori. What do you want to do? Amori, Amori, my best friend. Come on, you know you, you know how to play hide and seek, don't you? Um, I do. <laughs> That's what I thought. What's stopping you then? Come on, let's play. I'll round everyone up. Ten hut. All right, maggots. Here's the rules. We're gonna be entertaining ourselves with a little game of hide and seek. Here in my hands, I have some straws. See? Everyone's gonna pick a straw. The one with the shortest straw is gonna be it. And we'll have to find everyone else. Sounds easy enough, right? We all got our straws? Good! Now, let's see who's gonna be it! How much you wanna bet it's me? Well, well, well. It looks like the one with the shortest straw is... Omori! Wait, Omori is it? But Omori doesn't like to be alone. Oh. Are you gonna be okay, Omori? I can take your place if you want. I don't mind, really. Hey, I hear you plotting over there. The straws make the rules, not me. Come on, don't be babies, it ain't so bad. Omori will be fine. When you're ready to play, walk up to the tether pole and close your eyes. And no peeking, or else. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Oh, you found me. Now I can help you find everyone. Just don't tell Burly about this, okay? <laughs> oh, he tried. Those girls. <laughs> Shh, if you're too loud, they'll hear you. Those girls, bad girls. Ah, be quiet, nose. We're hiding, remember? Aha! We found you, Bun and Nose. Nose, they found us. Nose, Nose. <laughs> oh, you know I can't stay mad at you. Let's go play patty cake. I don't know why I felt... Just because their name is Nose, I felt compelled to cover my nose. Turns out, there's not many places to hide for a guy my size. But this was still fun. As long as Burly is happy. I'm happy. Darn, you found me. I guess that means I lose. You know what Happy would say right now? She'd say something like, Bangs, you should always try your best at everything. How else will people see how awesome you are? Next time, I guess. Boing, it's me, Happy! You found me, so I guess that means I gotta do something else now. Oh, I know. I'm gonna count the alphabet backwards. Z, Y, X, W, V, U, O, M, um, oh. <laughs> That's a fat mood. I'm terrible at doing things backwards, especially the alphabet. Okay, that was it, I guess. Eternal banana. I wish I had a Go XLR so I could like have the reverb. It feels fitting. <sighs> We're not playing. We're exercising. Okay. 
<laughs> Does that person need help? Oh, huh? where am I? Uh, I was dreaming that I was at a private beach with the servants fanning me with the palm tree leaves on every side. And suddenly... Wham! And now, here I am. I must have fallen asleep while hiding. I guess that's game over for me. Oh, you found me. Darn. <laughs> Let's find everyone else together, Omori. Ah, oh, yes, some nutritious candy. Uh, we don't need that right now. Um... Did I miss anyone? Whoops. Ayoyo. You probably shouldn't disturb this. Oh, okay, I thought they were playing. Hero? Oh. Hey guys. Whew. You know, <clears throat> you found a really good hiding spot, but uh, Sean and Ren uh, invited me to join them in their exercise routine. It's fun and good for you. You guys should really try this. It's uh, really a workout. I mean, oh man, I'm so tired. Wow. You really know, don't know how to say no to anyone, do you, Hero? Come on, Hero, we gotta help Omori find everyone else! Alright. Alright. I'm coming. Bye, Sean. Bye, Ren. This was fun! Yeah, let's do it again sometime! Yeah, see you later, Hero. Thank you very much for the Aka Spa, by the way. Was that everybody? Oh no, I'm still missing, um, um, Burly, I believe? Oh. There's a straw in the ground. Pull it out. <laughs> Took you guys long enough. I thought I was gonna suffocate in there. How'd you like my hiding spot? Pretty good, eh? Looks like you pretty much found everyone else, too. Unexpected. But I like it. Let's do a final roll call. Tenut! Van! Here as always, buddy. Charlene! Here. Me call, or... Oh, what gives? Happy! Here, here! Browse! Ah! Bangs! Here. Bun! Bun is here! Nose! Nose goes! Hero! <laughs> Present. Kel! <laughs> you really gotta do this every time, Beryl? Or barely? Hey, that was uncalled for! Mm. Aubrey! Here I am! Huh? Where's Basil? That's strange. I thought I saw him go hiding near that tree over there. Basil, where are you? Can you hear us? Basil! You can come out now! You already won! Hello! Basil! Oh no. Oh, okay. Hey, there's Basil. Basil? Are you okay? 
All right. Are you stuck? <laughs> I don't know. Boss, I should have known it was you. You good for nothing scoundrel. Let Basil go. Yeah, what did Basil ever do to you? Basil is our, is our friend. Don't you dare hurt him. Let go of Basil, boss. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> I don't know. I, I you want to do other than gross life. You stupid heads. You think this is about Basil? Don't play dumb. You know why I'm here. How dare you not invite me to go hide and seek. I'm the one who showed you how to play in the first place. You're not even playing it right. How can you call it hide and seek without any body slamming? Can't help but think that your definition of hide and seek is slightly different than that of my own. My flower crown. Hey, that's the flower crown we made for Basil. How could you? Let go of him, you bully. No. If I can't play with everyone, then no one can. This is a boss-only zone now. And you're not invited! Okay, I wasn't expecting a fighting system. Um... Oh my god, how... how um, I guess I'll attack? Wait, skill. Inflict sad on a friend or foe. Friend? Guard. Observe. Okay. Uh. Excuse me. I guess I'll just attack. Um, makes a friend or foe happy. Okay. Annoy. I guess I'll just attack with everyone. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. Heals a friend for 75% of their heart. Can be used outside battle. Cost 10. Okay, good. Get a healer. Oh, he looks so sad when taking damage. I kind of feel bad. <laughs> you weaklings. You call that an attack? Oh. Oh, ugh. Oh, that kind of hurts. Um... What to do? Hmm... I guess we just keep going? Oh, you can see his health bar. Yeah, this should be easy. It's like a tutorial boss, probably. All the attacks are, like, different. Like, because I'm noticing that... I guess because uh, Omori has a knife, that that's why it's a slash. Hey, that kind of hurt. Hmm. This isn't fun anymore. Oh, it hit right in the heart. I guess that's a crit. Mm -hmm. No, you made me angry. It's time for my special move. Body slam! Oh my god! No! Toast! No! Mori did not succumb. Huh? How are you still moving? Uh, I have nothing to heal with. <laughs> Hail Mary, crit, please. Oh, okay. Amori's party is victorious. You gain 32 experience. You got 22 clams. This isn't fair. Rematch! I want a rematch! Oh my god. Basil, are you hurt? Uh, don't worry, 
about me. I'm just fine. Boss? It must hurt to see people have fun without you. That doesn't mean you can ruin other people's fun. Hmm. I know that. Aww. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. There. Does that feel better? Hey, Soul, are you sure it's okay to do that? Boss is bad news. It's a good thing Omori held on during that final attack or we would have all been toast. It's okay. I trust him. When you were all fighting, he tried really hard to make sure I didn't get hurt. Is that true, boss? Hmm. It's a load of baloney. I don't need to hear all these lies. This is my spot. No one is welcome here. Okay. Well, <laughs> he probably won't be a problem as long as he stays like that. I guess that means we can go to Basil's house now. That sounds good to me. We're leaving now, boss. Don't cause any trouble, okay? Aww. Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. This is so cute. Uh, I guess we should save. Nice, nice. Do you want to have a picnic with your friends? Absolutely! Aww. It's so cute. Hmm. I haven't been on a picnic in a very, very long time. I kind of want to change that. You know, you bring a big blanket, you go to somewhere nice during the spring or summer on a really, really sunny day. You bring sandwiches and things to drink. Hmm. Maybe I'll make some plans this summer. Do you like picnics? I haven't been on one in a really long time, but I kind of miss it now that I see this. Seems like it can be really nice. I always brought something on my picnic though, like a Game Boy or a Nintendo DS. But that 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 was me. Because you know, sometimes it's fun to play outdoors. Hmm. Okay, uh maybe I Okay, we're back at full health. I thought I needed to, like, heal. Oh. I want to give flowers to someone. He's only interested in puzzles. Do we have another crush on our hands? If only I could find a flower puzzle or something. Maybe then he would notice me. Finding up flower puzzles? We shall. Eternal banana. Oh. I kind of want to voice him like Slim Cognito from Ratchet and Clank. Yes, yes. Val Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please, buy something. <laughs> uh, bye. Okay, we have 72 clams. Um, candy, apple juice, Jack's present. It's not what you wanted. <laughs> Why is that funny? Jax. Deals small damage and often reduces speed. Apparently better than orange juice. I I, I contest that. Um uh, favorite sweet. Heals 30 hearts. Okay, but heals juice? What? I guess we'll buy candy. Can buy three. Three pieces of candy. Thank you kindly. Alright, uh, let's move on. Train station, Pinwheel Forest, Basil's house. I guess we're heading towards Basil's house. 
Apple juice is nice, but I, I, I'm more of an orange juice person myself. With pulp, by the way. These are sunflowers. They're called that because they always face towards the sun. That's how I want to be like. <laughs> Somebody protect this child. Someone who always sees the bright side of things. Ah. Watering can. These flowers are called Lily of the Valley. It's said that they're able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. I guess that's why they remind me of Mari. I can always count on her to help me stay positive. Who are you? Whoa! It's that ugly plant creature. Don't you know, Kel? That's a sprout mole. Sprout moles are highly intelligent creatures, but become dangerously vicious when they are lost. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, you're stumping all over the flowers. It's gonna attack us, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, it looks like this Sprout Mole is angry. Like us, Sprout Moles also feel emotions. Since this Sprout Mole is angry, its attack is higher. But on the other hand, it lowers its defense. So what you're saying is that right now is a perfect time to strike. Come on, Amori. Let's do this. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, attack. I was hoping I would crit. Don't feel like I'm doing an awful lot of damage. Okay, we still win. Hey, level up. Uh, most of the flowers are unharmed. That's a relief. Hey, Omori. Now, now that we're getting the hang of battling, Here's a journal, where we can keep track of any neat foes we come across. Oh, a bestiary? Hero gave you Faux Facts Journal. The Faux Facts Journal. There. Now it's in your pocket. The journal is yours to record with, but we might pitch in sometimes, too. Check, uh, check it through your pocket in the player menu by pressing X. Pocket. Um, important. Faux Facts. A dangerous and hostile ugly plant creature. It says it's smart, but do not believe it. It is not. It smells like dirty laundry. Boss. A little rough around the edges. Can be a foe, or a friend. Also, that's kind of mean. It's not ugly. It reminds me a little bit of uh, slimes from Dragon Quest. <clears throat> These kind of look like faces with really goofy eyes. Oh, they're roses. These are roses. Can't you guess who they remind me of? Um... I'm gonna say... Aubrey. Dang it! They remind me of Hero. Did you guess correctly? Sorry! Roses come in many different colors and have, all have their unique meanings. Pink roses sim symbolizes admiration. Orange roses symbolize passion. Yellow roses symbolize friendship. And li the list goes on. Hero doesn't remind me of any rose in particular. I think Hero is like all roses, because he's versatile and universally loved. These are a type of flower called gladiolus. I hope I'm saying that right. The gladiol what? <clears throat> gladiolus, also known as the sword flower. As you might guess, they represent strength of character. Someone who is honest, strong moral values. Ah. 
someone who stands by their convictions. The Gladius reminds me of Aubrey, because she's always true to herself. Oh, I see. So what you're saying is, is that Aubrey is really stubborn. Hey, no I'm not. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Hmm? Oh. Oh no, not again. Please, Mr. Sprout Mole, stop twirling. You're destroying all of the flowers. Oh no. Oh, I see. This Sprout Mole is happy. In that case, it has a higher chance to hit our weak spot and do more damage. But it also means it has a higher chance of missing. Hmm, so what do I do then? Do I guard? I guess I'll just wail at it. Oh, okay. No, that's not too bad. The attack animations are adorable. Okay, easy enough, easy enough. really like the victory theme. It's very calm. Hmm. You seem to be running across a lot of foes with emotion. In case you didn't know, emotions can determine how strong or weak an attack is. <clears throat> happy beats angry. Angry beats sad. And sad beats happy. So it's like Pokemon. Here, I even drew up a guide on how they work. I'm no artist, but I think you'll get the point. I'll put it in your pocket so you can check it out later. Let's have a look at that. Oh, yeah, please. What do you mean you can't draw, hero? This is adorable. Okay, let's see. Happy is strong against angry, and angry is weak. Okay. <sighs> so it's like a circle, and then there's like neutral. Uh, happy ups luck and speed, but it downs hit rate. Angry ups attack, but lowers defense. Sad brings up attack, but speed down. Some damage to heart mm, is... Oh, some of the damage to heart is split up among Jews. Okay. Uh, okay, so... Happy, angry, sad. Happy, angry, sad. How do I... Uh, I guess I can just remember it by has. Has? <clears throat> Whoa, what are these flowers called? They're all cool and spiky. Actually, Kel, this is a cactus. It's more of a plant than a flower. And it's funny that you ask because they remind me of you. Is it because he's a prick? <laughs> I got flashbacks to Rosamie's, um, when, when, during the RR Prop Night collab, uh, we talked about, uh, our rejected, <laughs> our rejected, um, uh, lines for uh, the announcement, the one-liners, you know, how mine was, I didn't sign up for this, and uh, Rosamie's apparently was, was nothing but puns, and one of them was, don't be a prick, which really took me by surprise. <laughs> hey. Well, that too, but mostly because cacti are very sturdy and resilient plants by nature. They don't need much care, but they can survive in even in seemingly e impossible conditions. I guess what I'm saying is... Is that you could... Is that even you could take care of a cactus, Kel? Whoa! Neat! Cacti are awesome! I don't think that was a compliment. It was a slight roast, wasn't it? Uh, these are white tulips. Plain, simple, and bulbous. Just like Omori. I don't know. I just think it's cute. Aww. Man, all of this is like... So sweet. It's gonna give me like, cavities. Uh, not another sprout mole. It's all good, Basil. 
We got the hang of this by now. Hmm. This Brahmo seems to be a bit sad. See how it's curled up in a fetal position? <laughs> that means it won't do as much damage as normal, but it'll also take less damage to heart and will lose juice instead. How sad. Let's put it out of its misery. Yikes. Uh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, has. Happy, angry, sad. So angry is strong against sad. Okay. Skill, annoy. Oh. Um, shift? Okay, there. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, okay, it changes. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm really dumb. Uh, okay, what has happy, angry? So, happy. Okay, so. Um. This makes me happy. I don't know what order they attack in. I think Omori goes first, then it's Kel. So, I guess hero? Oh, okay. Huzzah! Everybody's level 2. Awesome. Wait, hero learned massage? What? Skills. Massage. Removes a friend or foe's emotion. Okay. Hmm. I guess that can be useful. And Kel has only annoying guard. <laughs> Kel would definitely say pog. Isn't he too young to understand what pog is? Okay. Um... Ran random idea. Okay. Who in Niji En? Like, if we had to pick a voice act, like, and vo a person from Niji En to voice act one character out of the cast here, who voices who? I kind of want Mista to voice Kel. Aubrey is Rosami sama? Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Lucy, mm, I think that mm, Lucy would be better for Mari. Me as a Mori, but so far he hasn't spoken. I think he's, I assumed he was a silent protagonist. Shu as hero? Yeah, yeah, Shu is absolutely hero. Poma would also be a good Arbory, that's true. Mm, there's so many amazing voices in Niji En. Hmm. What about Basil? Who would be Basil? Me as Basil? Uh, is that fitting? You guys think so? Vox for Basil? Ah, I can't tell, but that would be a little bit of a miscast. Okay, I guess I would be Basil. Hmm. What else? What else? Okay, so we. Okay, Mari. Da, 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 da. Yeah, there's so ama many amazing voices in EGN. Maybe this would be too hard to pick. Although I am 100% confident in Mista and Shu as uh, Kel and Hero, respectively. That just feels accurate. Uki would also be a good Basil. Oh, that would be perfect because Basil, like, it seems like a very soft-spoken kind of guy. 
Hi everyone. You all came just in time for a lovely picnic. How did you get here? How did you get past us? Feel free to rest here. Everything is already set up. And I even brought some fruit. Aww. Fruit is better than candy. He teleports behind you, high shoe. <laughs> Woohoo! Thanks, Mari. You're the best. Oh, it's nothing. I'm just trying to look out for all of you. Oh, Mari. I wish I could be more like you. You always seem to have everything under control. <laughs> That's not true at all. It just seems that way from the outside. <laughs> Either way. You sure seem to make everything look easy. Yes, I agree. Mori's so effortlessly graceful. Don't you think so, Mori? Uh, sure. Aw. I guess I have to believe it a little bit if all of you think so. She's like a big sister. Like the one-san of the group. My house is right down this way. Are we all ready to go? I'm ready when you are. We'll catch you later, Mari. Let me know if you need anything. See you soon. Let's save. Should I be saving in different slots? How many are there? Uh, maybe not. Especially since I remember people saying that this game is long. Yikes, what's that? Damn, boy, he is thick! Oh my god, he has a mustache. Ooh, that's a boss battle. Oh, is he angry? Or is that just his color? Um... Okay, let's see if I can do this right this time. I... I am the Lorax, I speak for the trees. Or ye old sprout. Uh, okay, um... So let's see if I got this right this time. Okay, so it's if it's gonna be... Mm, yeah! Uh, it, okay, so it's gonna be Omori Kel Aubrey Hero. So let's go attack. And uh, let's make Hero happy. And then annoy with Kel. Is this how it works? Okay, 14. Yeah, there comes the annoy. Okay, that's angry. Oh. Okay, nice. I get it now. I get it now. Oh, look at him. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I kind of want to see what everybody's portraits look like now. Um, okay. Uh, let's make Omori happy. And just attack Kel, I guess. Oh, I didn't think he could smile. Like, I thought he was going to be stone faced. Oh, all of their portraits are so cute. Oh. Oh man, this fight is pretty tough. But don't worry, we can do this if we work together. Looks like I'm gonna have to teach you all a little bit about teamwork. Let's try again, Amori. We'll get him this time.
You notice anything different, Omori? You should be able to see a new bar at the bottom of the screen with a number on the side. This is our collective energy. By using our energy, we can defeat this foe together. Just attack and you'll see. Okay. What? What? Okay, so what does that mean? Did you see the bubbles that popped up when we attacked? That's called a follow-up. After you attack, for a limited time, you can use energy to perform a follow-up move. Just press any directional arrow and see what happens. Okay. Um... Uh, oh, crap. Um... Okay. Omori didn't notice Aubrey, so Aubrey... Okay. No, oh, it's like a friendship attack, I guess. <sighs> Man, this guy is really tough. When he attacked us, did you notice that our energy went up? When we take damage, we also gain energy. Think of it as a chance to make a comeback. Um, okay. Maybe I'll do a pep talk on Hero again. Annoy with Cal and then attack with Hero. Oh, can I attack again as Hero? Oh, he... Right, because happy... Mm, happy minimizes the accuracy. Nice, we're full of energy. This is a perfect time uh, to use our special attack. Omori, after you attack, press down to release energy. Hope you're ready. Come on, everyone. Let's show this big guy what we're made of with the superpower of teamwork. Aw, look at these animations. Oh my god. Jesus. They really just kind of went... Ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> Level 3 and learn... Jesus. Stab. Omae wa mo shindeiru. There you have it. Here is Battle Tutorial 101. Here's Hero, he says lol. And I'm sure that as we fight more battles, our teamwork will improve over time. Wow, you guys. That was so amazing. Ah, that was nothing. <laughs> I've taken down way bigger the guys than that. I should be able- uh, I should teach you some of my skills one of these days. Basil, I know you're not the type to, um, that likes to fight, but it's good to know how to defend yourself, too. Hokuto no Ken. <laughs> you know, uh, I've actually been working on a book all about battles. Maybe we can all study together next time. I'll give it to Amori to hold on to for now. You got self-help guide. As we get stronger, I'll be updating the follow-up section of the self-help guide, so be sure to check it out every now and again. Omori, you should know, when we gain experience and level up, sometimes we'll also learn skills. Skills are powerful and have a wide range of effects, but each of us can only remember up to four skills at a time. After you learn a new skill, don't forget to equip it from the player menu, okay? Yeah, yeah, we know. 
Can we go to Basil's house now? Okay, that's all I had to say. Patience, Cal. Now, let me see if I can find that. Is it in the pocket? Important. Um, self-help guide. A self-help book all about battles, written by, written by yours truly, Hero. What would you like help with? Uh, emotions? Um, over you. Emotions can determine how effective an attack is. Happy beats angry, angry beats sad, and sad beats happy. Emotions also affect, affects different stats for both friends and foes. Please refer to the emotion chart in your important pocket for an easy, easy visual. In addition, the, uh, the emotions of defeated foes can grant you bonus effects. Happy foes have, an, have a higher item and clam drop rate, Ooh! while angry foes will give out more experience. Sadly, sad foes don't uh, have any extra bonuses, but are typically easier to defeat. Okay. Um, happy. A happy friend or foe will increase, have increased luck and speed, but a, a lowered hit rate. When a friend or foe is even more happy, they become ecstatic. Oh, you can you can stack them. Okay. An ecstatic friend or, or foe's luck and speed are increased even further, but hit rate also lowers accordingly. D does that mean like if I um. If I stack a lot of emotions on somebody, like for example, if I stack happy to ecstatic, and then use, oh, what's effective against? Uh, so sad would be good against happy. So if I'm sad, and attack happy or ecstatic, that does even more damage, I assume. A sad friend or foe will have increased defense, but decreased speed. Part of the damage that would be dealt to heart is dealt to juice instead. When a friend or foe is even more sad, they become depressed. Yikes. A depressed friend or foe has an even higher defense and an even, an even lower speed. Part of that damage that would be dealt to heart is dealt to juice instead. Okay. I just realized that this game is literally emotional damage. An angry friend or foe uh, will have increased attack, but decreased defense. When a friend or foe is even more angry, they become enraged. An enraged friend or foe has much higher attack, but their defense drops even lower. Hi, Folger! How are you doing? <laughs> Emotional damage! Okay, um... Leveling up, never mind, um... Toys, what are these? Hey, Ike, how's the pain? Uh, I don't... I, if you're talking about the game, not, nothing. This is adorable. And if you're talking about my voice, uh, it's so far, so good. Toys are used uh, during battle to support friends or deal damage to foes. They can, can't be used outside battle. Okay, so they're like, uh, uh, like status items. Cool, cool. Oh my god, my nose. Ah. Uh, kind. I want to check the follow-ups. Um. Yeah, I get the energy. Uh, one more. Uh, trip. Oh, glad glad to hear it's adorable. Gun bear. I'll do my best. Thank you. Omori aims for a low attack and reduces the target's foe's speed. Okay, cool. Um, Aubrey. Uh, look at Omori. Aubrey tries to get Omori to notice her, so she makes a strong attack on the same foe. Okay. Kel pesters Aubrey and makes her angry. Oh! Okay. 
Hero encourages uh, Aubrey, making her happy and increasing her defense. Oh, okay, so you can change emotions with follow-ups. That's useful. Nice. This is a really, like, surprisingly deep battle system because I know that with RPG Maker, it com comes with a built-in battle system that is relatively, like, bare bones. Like, it works. But that's about it. But this seems to have been customized heavily. Uh, Kel. Pass to Omori. Kel passes the ball to Omori, dealing one damage to Omori and making him set. I don't want to do that. Pitches the ball to Aubrey, who knocks it out of the park and deals damage to a random foe. And Kel passes the ball to Hero, who helps Kel dunk at all foes, dealing damage. Okay, cool. So I guess Pasto Mori would be good for the emotional change, but like I just feel bad making him sad. He kind of seems like a pretty sad person already, like with the whole, like, doesn't like to be alone, is rather quiet. Which of Hero's follow-ups would you like to Omori? Call Omori? Hero calls Omori. Omori attacks, and Hero heals 15% of Omori's heart with words of encouragement. Aw, so cute. Hero calls Arbury. Arbury attacks, and then Hero heals. Okay, so he just, uh, all of his follow-ups just heal. Cool. Nice. Nice. I think that'll be good for now. I also kind of want to check the bestiary to see if it's updated. Ye old Sprout, the beloved grandfather of all Sprout Bowls. It is said that he loves all life in the forest and that all life in the forest comes from him. When he is not busy maintaining the balance of the forest, he enjoys sitting and we just beat the heck out of him. I'm so sorry. Oh, this is pretty. Say cheese. Aw. Aw, oh, it came out kind of blurry. Oh my god, shoe house, shoe house! <laughs> I, w I want my clip of Shu just saying, Hey, what up everybody? My name is Shu Yamino. Welcome to Niji Cribs. Today I'll be showing you my shoe house. <laughs> Me! <laughs> Cameo! <laughs> Well, that's okay. That gives it character. I hope you don't mind the photo. Of course we don't mind. We want to see it. Oh, sure thing. We all look so cute! How's my hair? Oh my god. <laughs> Hero, I feel you. Oh, I always think about my hair whenever I'm, like... I'm in a photo or anything. As you might see, it, it tends to be a little bit messy, and I try to keep it a little bit more under control. I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see! Oh, hey, Omori. Did you wanna look at the photo too? Oh, that is blurry. It's too bad that it came out kind of blurry, but you all still look so cute. I should add it to my collection. Woohoo! Another shot for the photo album! Move over, Aubrey. I can't see. Hey, stop pushing! You already had your turn! Get out of my way, Kel! Wait, hold on. There's no need to fight. Me first! No, me! Oh my god, please stop. Uh, s stop it. You guys are knocking me over. Oh no. Mm. Uh, 
Whoops. Oh my gosh. Basil. So sorry. Are you okay, Basil? You two are in big trouble now. This is why both of you need to learn how to get along. I'm sorry. We didn't mean it, Hero. Please don't tell Mari. It, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Accidents happen. Here's your photos. Doesn't look like any of them got damaged. Let's put them back in your photo album together. Thank you, Hero. Let's go inside my house first. Remember to wipe your feet before you come in. That's one thing that I think is really weird. Like, uh, back home, like, we always, uh, like, all take off our shoes when uh, we, uh, like, go indoors. But, like, in North America, um, I've noticed that some people just keep their shoes on going indoors. Isn't that kind of weird? A bunch of potted plants and flowers. Basil loves taking care of things. Oh, I love the sound of a fireplace. Why would you ever keep your shoes on? Yeah, like, I, I don't get it. I hate it when people don't take their shoes off and walk into your clean bedroom carpet or, or bedroom slash carpet. Like, yeah, like, I don't get that. Like, um, when I've been uh, to, like, uh, to the U.S. and uh, Canada, uh, like, there's been times where just there are places you, you people walk in with shoes, and I don't get it. Like, you have a shoe rack for a reason. Like, I, I don't understand that. Like, fine if you have slippers and whatnot, but, like, have dedicated shoes for indoors. I mean, it's gonna get dirty otherwise. Let's see, what is here? A comfortable looking bed. A bunch of pot of plants and flowers. Yeah, dedicated shoes or slip for at least, please. Yeah. A bunch of books. Mostly about that. Yeah, mostly about plant care. A fireplace. The fire is warm. We'll just talk to Basil. Are you ready to put back the phone on some more? Yay, let's get started. Oh, darn. I don't think I remember the order of all these photos. Hey, don't worry about a thing, Basil. Mori has a really good memory, so I'm sure we'll figure it out in no time. Um, about that, um, I'm really sorry. Um... Uh, w? W and Q? Oh! Oh, okay. Oh! Does he have, like, photographic memory? That's a neat detail. Um... Right here. Take this, and, uh... There. There we are. There. Good as new. I'm really sorry for pushing you over, Basil. Even though at least half of it was Kel's fault. Yeah, I promise to never fight Ar with Aubrey ever again. Unless she starts it first. Don't worry about it. I know you only wanted to see my photo album. Thank you for helping me put it back together. I'm not looking at chat an awful lot, but uh, if people are posting spoilers, uh, just um, if members, if you could use the stop uh, emote to flush them out, that would be very, very appreciated. 
And also, for people who are posting spoilers, I know that you mean well, but please, uh, let me and uh, other people who hasn't experienced this game experience it blind, because experiences are wonderful when they're entirely neutral, I believe. Thank you very much. Usually you guys are really good at behaving yourself, so I have, I have faith. Strange. A photo must have been loose. Huh? What is this? Did I think take this photo? I just got the most massive chill. Something about it seems so familiar. No. That can't be. Mari? Oh, yeah, bloody helvet. What the fuck? Jesus, that got me. Sorry, I'm sorry for cussing. Oh, I don't like that heartbeat sound. Look into the light bulb? Sure. Can't see a thing. Okay, so this is the same. Sketchbook. Take a look inside. Oh, all of a sudden, like, these drawings seem a lot more uncomfortable. I'm trying to, like, make sense out of some of them. I think I see, like, Omori in a bathtub to the right there. I'm also noticing a theme of eyes quite a bit. There's also cats in a lot of places. Snake there with, like, Aubrey, Hero, and Kel. Okay. Um, there's the playground I'm noticing now, and some of the attacks. Why are there stakes everywhere? Okay, so those are light bulbs. That's a steak. You weren't here before. Am I meant to lean my hand? Like... Tissue box for wiping your stars away. Meow? Not much to do around here, is there? Or is there? That's ominous. You're looking for a way out? There's always one, but... Waiting for something to happen? Uh, stare at the screen. starting to feel like everything was fine or everything was okay is not really the truth here can I run in this game oh I didn't even know that they're not chasing me Unless they get right next to them. Ooh. <sighs> Is this what they meant with there's always a way out? Oh, that's dark. Yeah, I would like to remind everybody again, there are, there are literally content warnings at the like the so, as soon as you open up this game. Uh, if um, if you are worried about uh, uh, potentially like uh, material that uh, material that you might potentially be sensitive to, I urge you to Google the content warnings for Amori. 
Ah, uh, okay. So... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Oh my god. Look at all of us. These are all of our memories together. We're a little sad now. But we should be happy that they happen at all. Is this Omori and Basil? Let's make some new memories together, okay? That's actually a thing that I... Um, I'll, I'll, I'll read that in one second. I just had a thought. Um, I'm sure all of us had had memories and experiences that we once treasured dearly, but then as things happen in life, uh, you can change the way that you look at those uh, memories and feelings, and they can become something rather unpleasant, something that can make you sad, something that just hurts. Even something as simple as the sky, for example. Like, if you look at a sky because you used to, like, maybe look at clouds together with someone. Um, that can become really painful. Like something as simple as the sky, but... Even if memories become sad, it's... I think that overall, in the grand scheme of things, it's good to treasure the happy moments that were. Because not all memories are forever. Even if they stay with you and remain sad, you can make so many more new ones. So don't let the, those... I, I don't I hesitate to call them tainted memories, but those memories that have evolved into something less happy, don't, don't let them get, get you down entirely. I know that's really easy to turn to. Hell, I am very guilty of that myself. But you can always, always make lots of new memories. Ones that will be just as happy, if not more than the ones that have fallen to the sad side. Hmm. Sorry. I don't really know why I felt like talking about that. Anyway, let's move on, sh shall we? You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Oh, we get to name him? But I... So, I assume since Sonny's... Is already here, and it's just one letter off from uh, one of my kohais. Um, since I assume that the name is already here, uh, this is the canon one, and if possible, I almost always, or at least like 98% of the time, like to go with the canon names. So, what do you guys think? Do you what do you what do you guys recommend? Do we stick with the canon name, or do I write something else, or do I write my own name? What do we do? Okay, overwhelming Sunny. Okay, let's we're sticking with it. We're sticking with canon name. The boy's name is Sunny. Yes, Professor Oak. Wait, isn't this Omori? Oh no, never mind. D where is it? No, it is, but it's in color. What? The money is different now. It's dollars? A very, very comfortable looking bed. 
You are hungry. I'm, I'm actually hungry too. Hold on. It's, uh, what time is it? Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> A wardrobe. It's okay, I have food at home. Mom's voicemail. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The movers are going to be at our house in a few days, so... I left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry. Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we needed a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know that moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be a positive will be positive for both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put the house back up house up for sale. Um, he's been calling us every week for the past few months. Seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. <sniffs> you are hungry. Mmm. Animal computer. Other books. Cardboard boxes littered across the house. So they're moving. Mommy's, mom's to-do list. I don't feel like doing chores right now. Yeah, I mean, it is the middle of the night. It looks a little, a little bit hard to see. This is kind of freaky. A bathtub. A toilet. Some towels and toiletries. Uh, I don't like that. Feels like something's gonna pop up behind me. One of two grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but mom likes to keep them around. Thought the music stopped for a second. Why is there a picnic basket here? Would you like to save? Sure. Oh. Hmm. Mom's bed. The mattress is too hard for you to sleep comfortably. Okay, so what is with the, all the, like, bed critiques coming from, like, Omori or Sunny, whichever it is? This bookcase has been cleared out. A table lamp. Thank you with the stop emotes. I'm proud of you guys. Are you sure you want to go downstairs? Why would you ask me that? Now I'm not so sure. I can barely see a thing. Oh, he shook his head. Oh, I guess I don't have control. Can I try? No, he doesn't want to. Don't want to look down. Okay. Afraid of heights? Some family photos. Uh, what am I missing? Hi, Sunny. This is a note from Mommy. Left some food in the fridge if you go downstairs. It's steak. Your favorite. That explains it. Love you. XOXO. Okay, so what if there's steak? Will you go down then? No. I feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. Oh, okay. Hmm. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Sure. Mm, are you sure? You seem hungry, my guy. Yeah, come on. Let's go downstairs. Let's get you something to eat. Oh, this is a nightmare, isn't it? Uh, an 
eerie red glow radiates from outside. I feel strangely drawn to it. Okay, that is a long staircase. This is absolutely a dream. Why am I slow all of a sudden? Is he having a panic attack? Oh, no, 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 please, no, 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 no. Don't pick it up, don't pick it up. You're hungry. You're hungry. Oh, come on. Ha! Ah! You gonna move? Are you gonna yeah, that's what I thought. What in the actual hell is that? Afraid? Why is there dots after fight and exclamation point after run? Are they trying to tell me to run? Okay, it just straight up doesn't let me. Something. Oh, what else can I do? Did nothing. Okay, what do I... I guess this is scripted. I can't really do anything. There's nothing I can do. Sunny. I guess this is like a depiction of what an anxiety or panic attack is. Something taunts Sunny as he falls. Those of you who were here during Celeste, you know what to do. Okay. Nice. Okay, that is way shorter than I thought. You got a first aid kit. Cool. Doesn't want to go in there. Fireplace. There are nails stuck between the bricks. It doesn't want to go there either. Okay. Oh. We look in the fridge. Find coal steak. Take it? Sure. Probably heat it up if we... You what now? Oh no, oh, oh that. Uh, uh, uh. Steak? In a micro... Bruh. We got 
microwaved steak. Picked up the steak knife. Oh yes, a lovely, well done steak. I somehow doubt it. Would you like to eat some? Sure. What is that rolled up thing? It's kind of cursed. Microwave steak. That can't be good for you. That can't be like good. That can't be tasty. Oh my god. Oof. Stomach didn't agree with that. Yeah, it's a microwaved steak. Why? Is it bad when I'm when I'm looking at this filter? All I can think of is like those filters that are just like. Eh. Oh my god, eating that steak was such a massive mistake. Nope, doesn't want to go out. Okay. <laughs> this looks really funny. <laughs> oh. Ooh, did he throw up? I thought he just needed to, like, use the bathroom really badly. You threw up. I don't know why I keep checking the mirror. What do you mean? Is that the front door? Hey, Sonny. It's Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. I somehow seriously doubt that. What is going on? Could you open the door for me? What is going on? Why is it dark? Why is it dark? Oh, it turned around. I do not like the fact that it's giving me this choice. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Hate, 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 hate. Wait, what is that? Ah! Okay, let's not do that again. Can we go to bed now? Did I just hear something? Oh, for hell! I fucking knew it. I fucking knew that was gonna happen. Okay, so happy-go-lucky times are over, guys. A very comfortable bed. Would you like to go to sleep? Yeah, thanks. Please. Oh, I don't like how that looked. So... Okay, so let's see if I'm getting this correctly. So Sunny is 
Is it, are we back in white space? Yeah. So this is like a dream world, like a way of a, a type of escapism. And I assume we all of the people, since like Kel and people are people we know, but don't really speak to in real life. Or at least choose not, I'm not sure. But I want to know what the whole Mari significance was, especially since she was colored entirely differently. Like, just the same as in, like, this dream world or whatever we want to call it. Hold on, is that thing still there? Yeah, it is. Waiting for something to happen? Um... I, I blinked for a second, I didn't... I don't know if I... Hold on. Hangman? What? Something fell nearby. Hold on a second. I don't know if I saw something. Like, I felt like I saw something weird. Like, I blinked for a second before I saw the hangman menu. Collect the keys to fill in the blanks. Incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. In the grass near a stump? A shrouded old bridge? Between the giant pinwheel? What is this? Amongst the other O's? Amogus? <laughs> Sorry. Something fell nearby, okay. What is that? You found a map. Okay. Twenty six. So I guess I can need to find the entire alphabet. Press W to open the the headspace map. So it's called headspace. That's and that's like a cute little way of calling in. Um. Okay. Can we leave now? I guess we can. Open the door. Oh, I'm gonna have to look at everything with different eyes now, aren't I? All of a sudden, this is a lot less wholesome, and now I'm just severely worried. This is heavily psychological. Mmm. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. Have you seen Basil? Oh boy. You can't find him any anywhere. You should go tell Mari you're okay. I don't know if I trust Mari anymore. She's been worried sick. clams cha-ching indeed now why are there footprints written in blood here let's not go there let's go somewhere else let's go up here north is cool okay well what's on the map I have no idea where we are What the hell is happening? Why is there an oo here? Why is there an oo
This is like mood whiplash the game. Does that still happen? What if I stay here? Okay, I get it. Afraid of drowning. Gotcha. <coughs> sure. Kind of cute. Hmm. I think we'll um, keep going for a bit longer, and then we're gonna call the stream here. Sorry th that it's a bit short, but I really wanna uh, see if I can be part of that VR chat thing that is uh, gonna be happening a little bit later. Oh. And next time we'll stream at like a time that I actually intended to stream and not because uh, yeah, I messed up my schedule. <laughs> God, that's ominous. I, I don't know if I spoke about this earlier, but the fact that 11 keys left. God, that's so ominous. The, fa the fact that um, the hand that like crushed us on the stairs was like like a photo, uh, photograph, like photorealistic. The fact that that clashes so hard with the pixel art aesthetic, like that really is like effective in my book. So what is the deal with, I guess I can't do anything with that. It's over here. Afraid of spiders. Me too. Oh, okay, so that's like related to things that we are afraid of. Uh, so, what, what do you call those spinny things? Like, I'm tempted to say windmill, but like, they look like those toys. We should go see Mari. She's been so worried about you. Mm, pinwheels? Okay. Oh, didn't like one of the hints mention something about pinwheels? Is worried. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Amori? No, I'm afraid not. The last thing I remember was sorting photos with Basil in his house. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in the neighbor's room with Aubrey and Kel. At least we find you, Amori. And I hope Basil is okay. Who's gonna protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. We'll find Basil in no time. You're absolutely right, Kel. At times like these, we gotta stay positive. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something we missed. That's the spirit hero. And as always, I'll be here if you need me. Ah, everything is sus! Let's make another save. Or if I save here, am I back to being Omori? Yeah. Omori seems to look a lot younger than Sunny does. Hmm. I wonder if that's me, like, overly reading into things. Hmm. 
I think that we'll call it here for now. Uh, next time we stream this, we're, it's gonna be at like the, around the usual time that I stream. Uh, and we're probably gonna be going for a lot longer. We're probably gonna like aim for at least the minimum of four hours, considering how long of a game this is, provided that my voice can take it. But right now, it feels relatively okay. And it was a little bit scratchy beforehand too, so I'm probably gonna be even like more prepped for it next time. So, um, for those of you who are gonna stay up, I know that it's super late for some of you. Um, I'm gonna join in on like the party game stuff in VR chat, and that's gonna be happening with Niji Ian later. So, if you uh, have the time and it's not too late or too early or whatever have you, feel free to stop by and uh, let's have a lot, a lot of fun together. With that, I'm gonna be signing off for now. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for all the super chats that came in. Uh, like I said earlier, I will be doing a gorilla stream within like the coming week or so, where we catch up on the last couple of uh, super chats from White Day, Little Nightmares, and this stream. So um, be on the lookout for that. So uh, if I haven't thanked your super chat yet, because I wanna make sure that everybody gets their proper thanks. With that, I'm going to be signing off for now. Thank you all so much for coming. And I'll see you all in the next stream. Tomorrow, we will be playing a puzzle game named The Witness that I have heard is quite the brain scratcher. So <laughs> looking forward to that, uh, as well as having my head absolutely spun around. Ah, boy. That, uh, I apologize in advance if that's going to be difficult to watch, but I think it'll be fun in the end. Okay. Uh, without further ado, I will be signing off. Thank you all so much for coming, and uh, yeah, see you in the next stream. Bye-bye!